Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so, I'm really rock on any block. so today we are gonna be reviewing and trying out some SpongeBob makeup. <laughs> So this is Hip Dot and Spongebob collaboration right here for their 20th anniversary of Spongebob. 20th anniversary of Spongebob? Oh my god. Some of y'all watching this right now weren't even born when Spongebob came out. If you want to see how to get this look and you want to find out about these products, go ahead and keep on watching. First things first, I think I hit a little face mask action. I want to have Patrick's face at the beginning of this video. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. I don't want to mention my eyebrows. Oh god, I'm probably gonna mention my eyebrows. What are we call him Pinhead. No, this is Patrick. Oof. My eyebrows are shockingly intact. I don't think my skin has ever been so nourished before a tutorial. Let's go ahead and get into the actual eyeshadows here. This is the palette itself. I haven't swatched this or anything at all, so I literally am just going in blind. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I really pulled up with some unwashed brushes. Like, what respect for my subscribers, okay? When y'all saying my name, put some respect on it. Subscribe to this video. I'll wash my brushes next time, okay? I think I'm gonna use this pink shade first. Wumbo. E, she, we, Wumbo. Wombology. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know what to expect because I haven't even tried these out yet. But this pigment's looking pretty pop and we're looking very Patrick y. I'm gonna take the best shade ever. Look at that Patrick and SpongeBob friendship right there. I'm gonna go with this more red shade called Penny Pincher. Very Mr. Krabs, very Capricorn. Mr. Krabs is a Capricorn in case you guys didn't know. There's no other way around that. Clearly. Okay, so I think it's time to cut the crease. I feel like the cut crease action just always makes it pop off a little extra. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I think I'm gonna try a few different blue shades in the palette. First, I'm gonna go in with this one that's a Blue Lagoon. And that one looks actually fire, so let's play now. Well, I was right. She is fire. For the inner part of the eye, I'm gonna go in with Bikini Bottom Blue. Oh, that looks kind of similar. A little bit. First off, we thought Squidward was whack back in the day, but we are all Squidward. He's Squidward, he's Squidward, you're Squidward, I'm Squidward. I do kind of like the way they put these shadows because they do go together very well. I think these two probably could have been switched maybe, but I don't know. I'm actually most excited about this right here. Like this is where it's at for me. I actually want to darken up the outer corner real quick. So I'm going to take a little bit of black shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. I know this is all about the SpongeBob makeup, but there's no black shade. So. I'm not really digging the way that the black mixed in with that red shade, honestly. That did not blend together very well. Now I'm kind of glad there wasn't a black shade in this palette, but now it's kind of too late for me because I already did what was done. A little Fenty Fly Liner. So apparently I'm just finishing this entire eye before I can start over here. So why not? I can have my mic plugged in this whole video long. This audio is probably going to sound like hot fire trash. I 
feel like a very green shade that would be called the Flying Dutchman would be pretty popping and fly. Like his tones are pretty on point. And some of these, and some of these, and some of these. And done. I'm gonna throw on some face makeup real quick. You're gonna see me looking real different because I'm ugly and I'm proud. And we are back serving a little bit more face. Now before I get any further with the eyes, I am gonna use the Sandy Cheeks palette. That is super cute. It is a cheek palette, obviously a, br bl a blush and a bronzer. Cause Sandy's that girl. People don't wanna give her credit, but she's under the ocean and she's a squirrel. And she's smart. I wanna go home. Sandy's like the original Yodel Kid from Walmart. Always be a Texas girl. And she knows karate. Let me get some of that blush color. She's pretty potent. Before I had highlight and do my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the under eye real quick. I'm gonna go back in with the best shade ever. That definitely went in my eye. Firmly grasp it. The little face palette doesn't have a highlight in it, so I'm gonna put a highlight in from the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette, my fave. Did you see that? Time to put some lashes on. It's just one of those days. Like, can my lashes just ever go on smoothly? Can they? I'm gonna put a little lip liner on. I'm not sure which one of these glosses I'm gonna use or if I'm gonna use one. So let me just go ahead and line my lips real quick. We got that NYX Sandstorm, baby! <laughs> We're back in stock at Ulta. Yes! Got the last one. Let me pop out with these jellyfish lip glosses. I'm a sucker for a lip gloss. So we got three shades. Feeling fine apple. Coral number five. Actually, it's coral blue number. Sea star gazer. So the pink is very sheer. The blue is like a milky shade. I think it could kind of make like a warm tone lip look a little bit more cool tone. Like it's not like blue blue, it just has like a cool reflect. And this one could turn your lip from like a cool lip to a warm lip. It's like a pretty pink, this is cute. I like this. A pretty pink gloss. That's juicy. Let me hit it with a little setting spray to go nowhere. And that's actually it for this look. Like let me go ahead and back you guys up real quick. And I'll give you my final thoughts. All in all, I really did like the palette and I did like the products themselves. I don't know that I would necessarily pick this up if it wasn't in a collaboration with SpongeBob. I think that's what really caught my eye. Obviously, like I love me some SpongeBob. Just that I own a lot of these shades already. But like I said right here, this right here is calling my name. The formula seems nice. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. I think they blended together very, very well. I think all in all, the look turned out pretty cute. This lip gloss is actually bomb. Like the more I look at it, this is like juicy. If you're just looking for something like more collectible item or something that you know you'll get use out of, this cheek palette is actually really, really bomb. This is kind of like when I bought the Selena and MAC blush and bronzer combo because I just wanted it because it was Selena, but I didn't like it. Like the product actually didn't turn out very good. 
So I was kind of disappointed. I think I still have it though. But yeah, guys, that is it for this look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what your favorite SpongeBob episode is or your favorite SpongeBob quote is. Mine is, you like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? There's just something about that scene that is so freaking funny to me and I use that quote. I use that line because people be wanting to front like they don't like something until you give it to them and they're like, mm, it's actually pretty good. I'm like, mm, it's actually pretty good. You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? Like, anyways, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.